In this video, we're going to compare the Logitech MX Keys Mini and the MX Keys S. These are two of Logitech's flagship MX keyboards that both work really well on Windows and Mac computers. The MX Keys Mini is a compact keyboard, and the MX Keys S is a full size keyboard that gives you a full number pad and a couple extra buttons on the side. The MX Keys S and the MX Keys Mini are both really easy to type on. I find them both to be really comfortable to use as a Mac user. The keys have a good amount of travel without being cumbersome, and they're really comfortable with a small divot in each of them for holding your fingers. The main difference is in the function keys and the number pad and the extra buttons that you get on the MX Keys S versus going for the smaller MX Keys Mini. They offer a really similar keys layout, but the Mini has a function key on the left side while the full size has the function key on the right size. The function, control, command, and option buttons are also a little bit bigger on the full size keyboard because the arrows are moved over. The MX Keys Mini has small arrow buttons and the MX Keys S has full size arrow buttons as well. The function buttons that Logitech gives you on both of these keyboards are similar, but they're moved over slightly on the MX Keys S. And on the MX Keys Mini, your device pairing buttons are F1, F2, and F3. Whereas on the MX Keys S, you get dedicated device pairing buttons. Logitech lets you reprogram all the different function keys on the MX Keys S, but on the MX Keys Mini, you can only reprogram F4 through F12. So you lose a little bit of customization on that keyboard. Another big difference between the MX Keys S and Mini is that you get a calculator button. The screenshot button is over on the top right area. You also get a lookup button and you get the extra buttons like insert, home, page up, down, delete, and end on the MX Keys S that are missing from the MX Keys Mini. So the overall feel and typing on both of these keyboards is pretty much identical and the battery life is the same as well. There's a lot of similar overlap in these devices and I'd encourage you to watch my reviews on the MX Keys Mini and the MX Keys S where I reviewed them separately because I go into greater detail about each of these keyboards. I think choosing which of these keyboards really comes down to if you want the full size arrow keys and if you want the full size number pad, as well as if you want to have those dedicated device changing buttons. For me, I do a lot of video editing and photo editing, so being able to quickly get from my keyboard over to my mouse is important. So I prefer the MX Keys Mini over the MX Keys S, just because I don't really need the number keys that much. But if you care more about the number keys and if you wanna customize your keyboard more and have more of those function buttons available to customize with, I would recommend you go ahead and just buy the MX Keys S because you get greater customization. The MX Keys S is available in graphite, silver, and black, and the MX Keys Mini is available in black, graphite, silver, and rose, so you do get more color options with the Mini as well. The MX Keys Mini usually goes for around $100, and the MX Keys S goes for $110, so the price is pretty comparable on both of these. But these are both great keyboards, and I don't think you're gonna be disappointed in the typing experience on either of them. You really just need to ask yourself if you want that extra customization, or if you want that compact, tight-knit feel that the MX Keys Mini provides, giving everything a little bit closer reach for you when you're using a keyboard. If you're interested in buying either of these keyboards, I have links for both of these in the description below. And also if you're interested in learning more about some of the other Logitech MX keyboards and mouses, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more video reviews of all those different products too. So subscribe to my channel and stick around for more content centered around the Logitech MX series. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any other questions about the MX Keys Mini or the MX Keys S, leave a comment down below and let me know what you're wondering. And if you think I missed any of the features of these keyboards, check out my full length review of both the MX Keys Mini and the MX Keys S so you can see what both of these keyboards have to offer.